Hey there, this is Olaf the Ninja and I will now be doing a build and quick review or look at Lego Hero Factory Series 4, 4.0, Breakout, whatever you want to call it. What My only villain at the current time, got no idea what the current time is, probably somewhere around 5 o'clock over here. Toxic Reaper. Now then, he's one of the smaller villains and his instruction manual takes up 23 pages. So this is a moderately short build but and should not take too long. But I'm also going through the parts, what we have seen and what we haven't seen. So, you know about that. This is the standard size. Two grey upper bone pieces. Two lime green upper bone pieces. Whoop, dropped something. Four black lower arm, lower leg pieces. One lime green lower arm piece. Two bionicle feet with two claws in fully black. One super short piece, just a connector with a ball. I love these pieces. This is one um, three ball joint sticking out thingamajig extra. Three, three long armor pieces, cladding pieces in just plain black. Two three point connector pieces with a connector also in stone gray. Two ickle pins or two little pins if you prefer that with the pin and the cross axle. Two system dome pieces. Two system tank pieces. They can connect together, which is pretty cool. One toxic reaper mask. Start in sexoid. In sectoid, by the way. Slightly human, but a cool mask. Cannot fit a Glatorian head inside there, by the way. It's just too small. But connect with a cross axle. Two silicone tubes with a, with a vein of lime green, or toxic as it's supposed to be in this, running through them. Two toxic flames, or green flames. One three connector piece with a connector in transparent lava red. Two shoulder armor cladding pieces, shoulder pads, in black with the mini pins that just connect onto a piece of armor like this. Two black wide pieces. They don't have a length on them, but they're wide nonetheless. Very wide and slightly longer. One white hero core with exclusive code on the back that I'm not going to show you, but I'll probably show you in the in-depth review. And finally, not one, not two, not four, but six luminous green pieces. I love luminous pieces. Ah, they almost glow. Nuclear. Let's start the build.
And there you have him, folk. Or, well, not really folk. Watchers, viewers, whatever you want to call yourself. Bookworms. Actually, YouTube worms. This is Toxic Reaper. I really, really like how I've made him into a sort of hunchback by using pieces in here. Can't really see that, but they've used shorter pieces in there to just be able to put his head a bit lower down. He's got these toxic tanks up here. Big, big shoulders. And toxic blasters, as his name suggests. He reaps toxic. I like how they've used the toxic tanks and just put the tubes coming out of the toxic tanks and into his weapons. Even though he doesn't have any hands, which is kind of strange. But I like what they've done with that. Probably the one downside to this model is that you've got a lone piece here, but that but you could probably do something like this. Get a small piece and just cover that up like that. That works pretty well. It's not very hard to do. And just cover that up for you. Not really much more I can say about this model. Slightly insectoid, slightly human. No armor on the lower legs though, which I guess works. And that is Toxic Reaper. Thanks for watching and please subscribe or face the consequences.